Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here, and today guys, I've got another deck profile for you. Now, this deck is for fun. I just want to say, don't take it too serious. Uh, just another wacky deck that I came up with. And I am working on some other decks to do for the future, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe if you have not done that already. And I hope you are all having a fantastic day. And of course, as always guys, the list will be down in the description below, so that way you guys can just go check it out if you want to. But this is going to be a superior deck, so let's get right into it. So starting off the deck, guys, we have four superior. This is going to be your only attacker of the game because, of course, Miltank is rotating out, unfortunately. And this was uh, a card that I really like to add into this deck. But unfortunately, of course, Miltank is gone, so I decided to modify this a little more. So if you don't know what superior does, it has Quill for 40 damage. And then during your next turn, this Pokemon's attacks do 60 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. Now that's not that good. That's like, you know, kind of mediocre, kind of okay-ish, but it has Slashing Strike for 80 damage. This Pokemon can't use Slashing Strike during your next turn. Now, this card doesn't seem that good. Like, it just kind of seems like a mediocre stage two that's kind of decent, does some damage for one energy, but it's a grass type. And when you pair it up with uh, Forest of Giant Plants, of course, you can make it kind of speedy. And, you know, you can get this out really quickly and start applying a lot of damage. And this card isn't really bothered by Jolteon or nothing like that. You know, it's just a decent stage one, or stage, excuse me, stage two attacker. I meant to say one for as attacker, but it's just a decent card. But we're also going to play four Servine and, of course, four Snivy. So there it is, a 4-4-4 four, four, four line. Uh, the reason why I went for this route is just because it's, it's faster than trying to go for the rare candy route. And Servine actually has a pretty good ability. I'm going to check it out here. So it's called Serpentine Strangle. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, which would be Snivy, of course, you may flip a coin if Hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon, is now paralyzed. So that's kind of cool. Uh, when you think about it, if you can get this set up, and of course they don't have a switching card, that is, um, you can paralyze your opponent's active, and then you can hit it for, like, Quill, or you can do Slashing Strike, or just whatever you want to do. And basically, it's stuck there, and unless your opponent, you know, doesn't have, like, a switching card or something like that, next turn you can do a lot more damage. And it's kind of insane how much damage this Pokemon can do, honestly. Uh, you do just the 80 or you do the 40, and then, you know, they already have 40 damage on it. Next turn, you do Slashing Strike. That is going to be a total of 140 damage, which equals 180. Pretty cool. Uh, I like this deck a lot, and just because of how fast it can be and how much pressure you can put on your opponent really quickly, and it's just all around a great deck, and I really enjoy playing it. Now, next up, these two Pokemon, actually these four Pokemon, if you want to get really technical with it, or support Pokemon that I'm not sure about. Now, my idea with this deck was you kind of keep it like a one prize attacking deck. Now, I did originally run Shaman, and I think Shaman is probably more like the more consistent route to go and probably a little better. Uh, just because also, you know, you get like you play two or three and you end up with an extra space or even two extra spaces or something like that to put in some more things, probably like some float zones or something like that. Uh, so that way you can like keep retreating and do uh, slashing strike. That was an idea originally that I was playing, uh, just like kind of playing like three float stones and you know the other stuff that I have in here. And so you can keep using slashing strike. But uh, basically I just kind of went for like the one prize attacker route. So you know that's why I run Octillery with Abyssal Hand. It's pretty decent and especially if you can get it out. Um, like I said, you can go the Shaman route with this deck. It's definitely an option. Uh, but you know just like for like when I said you know this deck is for fun and so you can definitely change it up and try how you would prefer it but you know of course we know why uh artillery is in here for the draw power but uh the reason why i put in aria dose of course this can be taken out if you feel like you know you don't really necessarily need it it's just because like just having that poison and just adding up extra damage is really cool now of course this is not going to be that good against septile or anything like that uh honestly like if i could be completely honest i don't think aria dose is necessarily needed but still it's a fun idea to try out and like it just it just helps you knock out megas a little easier honestly with just the poison adding up and you know like the higher hp pokemon and it's just really cool so that's why we're running that i originally actually wanted to play garbador and that's an idea that i'm working on and i might do another video of that later so if you guys want to see that make sure to let me know but yeah 2-2 two -two Ariados, i'm kind of eh on it uh it's good but then like sometimes like you don't really necessarily need it uh but like I said, you can change up the list how you would like. So starting off with the supporters here, guys. Uh, four Sycamore, pretty standard. Four N, two Lysander, 
Uh, I would I would play for a VS Seeker. I only had three extra VS Seekers, so that's why there's only three in here. So I would I would recommend four. And then of course we have three random receiver. Now originally what I like to do is, and of course I'm trying to find out like exactly what I like and what I prefer, is I like the route of four Sycamore, four N, two Lysander, and I'm actually wanting to try to find maybe like another draw supporter or something like that, just an extra supporter to run. Uh, this deck I don't really think needs Ninja Boy because I mean you're attacking with a stage two, and I don't know I just don't really think this deck really needs Pokemon Ranger. I might be wrong. Um, I might be completely wrong on that. But I just really don't think that it needs that, so I kind of went like with the stale generic supporter route. But what I've been wanting to do is like the 4-4-2 four, four, split with like 4 VS Seeker and 3 random receiver or something like that. So that's just my idea there. Um, trying to work on consistency and trying to make this deck as fast as possible, so that's why I went with that route. But still, pretty. It, it's been working okay. Next up we have these search cards. Uh, two or four Ultra Ball, not two. Uh, four Ultra Ball and three Level Ball. One thing I do want to run is Revitalizer, but uh, how I have this built. Okay, let let, let me just kind of throw this in here. Let me let me backtrack a little bit. If if you were to drop the two two Aridos, I would recommend adding like another Energy, maybe two, and then like one or two Revitalizer or something like that. I, like it, honestly, if, if you were to drop this, I would recommend another energy and a revitalizer or something like that. That's just my suggestion. <laughs> but yeah. So basically, what these are for the level ball is just to search out your Snivy and your Superior, and the Ultra Ball is just to grab anything. Also, the level ball can of course grab Ariados, um, Spinarak, Octillery, and Remoraid. All right. So here, here's the wacky idea that I had. So I'm playing three Bursting Balloons. And the reason why I'm playing this, I used to run Floatstone, like I said, so. Basically what I'm doing is you do Coil or you do Slashing Strike. You have this attached to it. And I've actually played games where people have realized that if they attack me, I'm just going to knock them out and they'll try to retreat or something like that, so. Basically what you do with Bursting Balloon, and of course, you know, if your opponent attacks you, you know, you, they take 60 damage. So if you do Coil or Slashing Strike, Basically, the extra damage for Coil, uh, you don't have to do the attack to get the extra damage. And I just thought this would be kind of a stupid idea to try, just to run Bursting Balloon on Superior. And basically, if they attack you, they pay a punishment for it. And, you know, like that, or they have to retreat. So regardless, you're damaging a Pokemon and putting a little more pressure on them. Is this idea the best? Probably not. But still, it's a lot of fun to try out new decks and kind of experiment. And really, until my Pokemon TCG Online kind of starts working again, that's what I'm kind of going to be doing, you know, mixing in some fun decks and trying out some cool stuff. But at the same time, I am going to be trying to do some, like, normal, um, like, uh, competitive decks. I'm trying to work on some of those and see where I can get with that. But for now, this is just a fun deck I'd like to try. And Bursting Bloom was really funny. I played it at League a few times, and uh, it <laughs> ticked off my friends. It was kind of fun. Now, I run two Super Rod. The reasoning behind that is, of course... Uh, your only attacker is superior, so you can shuffle in like a whole superior line. Uh, basically, if things go your way and everything works out properly, you can get six superiors a game. That's that's essentially what I'm what I was going for. So basically, you you get six superiors to attack with, and I do run some extra energy. So I, I would like more energy. That's why, honest and truly, I was considering dropping the Aria dose for like four extra spots. But you know. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, next up, Escape Rope. Just nice to have a switching card and, you know, just have something to get your Pokemon out of the active spot, really. Uh, then we, of course, have the Stadium that makes this deck go completely crazy, which is Force of Giant Plants. What this does is you have this out, you can go that, then you go Serpentine Strangle, and then Evolve into Superior. So. Forest of Giant Plants, I play four just because it's like the most consistent route, slash it is a counter stadium, so you can get rid of stuff like, uh, like Skyfield, that's that's the card. Uh, Skyfield and like just what whatever other stadiums might be coming into play that isn't Forest of Giant Plants, so that's why I went with the four route. And honestly, it just helps you get your superiors out faster. Because, I mean, if you start slapping down a bunch of superiors and stuff that are doing like 80 damage when they come in and stuff like that, and they're only giving up one prize, it just kind of comes, comes to like a better thing. I and mean, yes, there is better one prize attackers out there. But like I said, I love this deck. It's just a lot of fun. 
And to round out the deck, guys, we have seven grass energy. And like I said, I would like to add more. But I decided just to give you guys a starting list and what I'm, you know, kind of working with now, giving you my thoughts and everything. But I love this deck. It is one of my favorite decks to play, uh, fun-wise, you know, just like kind of mess around. And I've, I've had my eye on this card ever since it came out. You know, I was just like, man, it's going to be a fun deck. And I played a lot last season with it. You know, I just had it sitting in my bag just in case I wanted to have a quick game with someone for fun. And I decided to bring it back and add it into the new format. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have not subscribed already, make sure to do that. I would love to have you here on the EPTCG family. You're much, or you're much welcome. You're very welcome. I can't talk. It is like 6 in the morning right now. Well, actually, no, it's 7 in the morning. I'm watching Good Morning Football, so I'm like really tired. But you guys are awesome. Take care. I love you. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Take care, guys.